begin with the first victim, which is George Vickers, buried on the 7th... Assuming it was an infectious disease, they worked backwards from the burial dates to piece together who had infected whom, and, crucially, how long each person had been infectious before they died. The infectious period lasted for about three and a half weeks. During that time, the person could walk around infecting everybody else and never know that he was infectious. And the characteristics of this particular disease was that it's a very long time indeed. Very long. Far, far longer than the commonplace diseases today. A long infectious period before the telltale symptoms appeared made sense. It would explain why the Black Death had been able to spread so far and so fast. You only really have to think about how many people you rub shoulders with in a three-week period when you might be infectious. I mean, it's not just your family and friends and neighbours and colleagues at work. You might go to a football match, you might go to the pub, you go to the supermarket, the garage. Think of how many people that could be in three weeks.